This stuff brought you back a little bit early. Hello, by the way. Episode 5 of my Beat Your Save here with Everton on Football Manager 2023. Hope you guys are having a cracking day as you're watching this. Guys, I am really enjoying this save here with Everton. And uh, there's something else I need to show you in a sec. But there's a few things I need to show you, actually, in this video. So, yes, last five games in the league, um, not really gone that well. Only one win. That was a 4-0 win at home to Brighton. Um, Aston Villa and Man City. I mean, the way Villa have started and obviously Man City being Man City, you kind of expect those defeats still. A 1-1 away against Bournemouth, a little bit disappointed. But, you know, all three of these games where we lost, we were actually... We played really well, you know, in the circumstances and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, that defe uh, those defeats uh, in those five games does leave us now in eighth place. 27 points after 19 games. I mean... Uh, th there's a whole host of teams very close to us, so we could drop down a few places if today's video does not go to plan. So, the first thing uh, I wanted to show you was the fact that, um, uh, yeah, um, after trying to sell him to begin with, failing, deadline day failing, Dominic Calvert-Lewin is finally leaving. Now, he will be going in a matter of days. He will be fit for the Man United game. It probably will be his final game. He is actually going to Saudi Arabia. He's going to El Etihad and um, he's about to com we're about to confirm the sale of him. Now um, it's 54 million pounds overall, so I am actually really 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 happy about that. 10.7 go to Sheffield United because of the sell-on percentage, so that's cool, I guess. But we will be getting a nice, cool £31.5 million added to our transfer budget. Now, if you think what we were trying to sell him for before, 35 38 if we sold him for that, we probably wouldn't be getting this much in the transfer budget. So I'm glad that we've had him for as long as we've had him because he's actually been really good. He's been by far our, our top goal scorer. But the thing is, I already did plan to sell Calvert-Lewin because I already signed a replacement before he was leaving. And this is a player that I have never managed in Football Manager before. I've always heard good things about him. It is the one and only Gavi Goal. He is coming in from FLA. I'm not sure um, what Brazilian club that is. But he's coming in. Um, we are paying £4.5 million up front. I think it's £10 million over installments. And... Um, well, there you go. So, uh, Gabby Goal is uh, coming in uh, to replace Calvert-Lewin, basically. And it will give me a massive profit, uh, which I will be able to use in the transfer window. Now, I've got £4.9 million left. That's not including the Calvert-Lewin money, which we are, of course, about to receive. We hit the inbox after that. And there it is, 38 over £38 million now. So that is very good. That is very, very good indeed. Now, one more thing before we proceed is the fact the amount of contracts that are expiring in the summer. Now, I have just got my calculator. Actually, I've not got my calculator out. I have just worked all this out. The amount of wages we're going to be selling is over £800,000 a week. So that is almost half of what we've got. I mean, I know it's not quite half, but... Yeah, there is a lot of players that are going to be out of contract in the summer. And you know what? I have no interest in keeping any of them. Now, uh, Decore, of course, has been good, but he's 30. Adrissa Gay, he explored his options wanting to leave to begin with. So I thought, you know what? That's fine. Seamus Coleman, now 35. Andre Gomez, obviously not a main starter. Dan Juma. Now, this is a player that I would probably be interested in getting permanent. Um... I'm not paying the £45 million, pounds though, so that's probably out of the question. If we can maybe get him on loan again, that'd be ideal. But everyone else, I have got no interest at all in keeping. I may even sell some like Michael Keane, Ben Godfrey, free up a little, even a bit more wage budget. And, um, well, yeah. So, th in the summer, that's when this rebuild officially does begin. Because we're going to be getting rid of a lot of dead. We're Deli Alley um, at now... There's a clause in his uh, deal. If he plays more than, I think I think I need to avoid playing him like three or four more times in a stay here because if we do, then we owe Spurs twenty million. Which, yeah, I don't really want to do that because Deli Ali is not really worth that, and I'm pretty sure Everton already paid a quite hefty fee for him, something like forty. He joined on a free. I thought it was like forty million. So why is there a clause saying they need to pay 20? 
Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but uh, yes, now we've got Manchester United coming up. Obviously, then we'll hit the January transfer window. Ironically, I think Gavi Goal will be here for the game against uh, Covert Lewin's former club in Sheffield United. So that's funny. And um, well, yeah, we'll be back in a sec for the team, for the game even against Manchester United. Right then, here we go for the Manchester United game. Um, Pickford in goal, uh, Relevas, Branthwaite, Tukowski and Patterson at the back, Gay, Onana and Decor in midfield, and Juma and McNeil on the wings. And of course, in his final game for the club, Dominic Calvert Lewin up front. Let's do this. Um, I'm hoping for a positive result here. We've not played Manchester United yet, so I'm hoping we can uh, do one over on them. That would be great. Um, if we were to lose this game, um, we could drop a few places, which I don't really... I mean, obviously, I don't really want that. But, you know, if, if it does come to that, then, yeah, it, it's fine, I guess. But, um, yeah, poor, uh, poor form um, recently. So, uh, we'll see. Um, I mean, in those in that poor form, we have actually played relatively well. And we've gone 1-0 down inside two minutes. Great. See, the thing is, um, the players actually do turn up for you guys on the camera. Because in the last two videos, we've won both of our league games that we've played. And off camera, that's when I seem to be doing worse. So, um... Yeah, so bringing you back for these games is hopefully a good thing. Right, Dan Juma with the corner now. Oh, and it's just over there by, uh, uh, I think that was Relvas then. So, that's alright, that's fine. Alright, free kick, 12 minutes in. It's uh, Gay. Tukowski. Uh, I thought that was a bit risky then. Right, Branthwaite. Decor, out to McNeil. Oh, beautiful play. Decor. Decor. Across Calvert-Lewin. And uh, we get a corner out of that. And hopefully this does amount to something. And Juma whips it in. Calvert-Lewin can't win the header, but Raul Vaz does. And it's cleared by Varane. Can Dan Juma put it back in? McNeil on the ball. Oh, it's picked up again by McNeil, though. Goes back to Patterson. 1-2 with McNeil and it's put back in the box. Calvert-Lewin cannot win that header. And there's Anthony. Anthony even with a potential counter-attack. But Gay gets back to gather the ball. I mean, I we've, we've started okay. It's just all of those shots have been off target. Which is never a good thing. Now Bruno Fernandes with a free kick. And that hit the bar. I was literally just about to say, I've not seen a free kick goal in um, Football Manager yet. And uh, I'm glad I didn't say it because I would have probably jinxed it knowing me. Great. So, Onana needs to come off. That's great. That's one of those changes. Adrissa Gay as well. The thing is, I haven't got Van der Beek today because obviously he's on loan from Manchester United. Um, I want to see a much better display in the second half. I don't think we've had a shot on target yet. Um, I think this is probably one of those games. I am after. I am going to have to use Deli Alley because I haven't really got anyone else I can use unless I swap the tactic up a little bit. If I go to a four-two-three-one for this and bring um, Jack Harrison on. I think that's the only thing I can really do at this point. And go positive. Because we've not played bad. You know, in comparison to Manchester United, we've probably actually been the better team. Alright, Branthwaite with the clearance. Only as far as Anrabat, though. Shaw to Ganacho. Luke Shaw across. And Danjuma with the partial clearance. Manchester United are still on the attack, though. And thankfully, that is where the highlight ends. Right, come on. <clears throat> Let's get back into this game. Tukowski, Patterson, McNeil. Back to Patterson. Tukowski, across to Branthwaite. Branthwaite to Gomez. Gomez, I think Calvert-Lewin might be offside. It's a goal. And that is going to count. Get in. I honestly thought Calvert-Lewin was offside then, so I'm very glad he was onside in what could be his final uh, goal for the club. Calvert-Lewin equalises against Manchester United. Get in. Right, I cannot bring Deli Alli on. 
And no decor really does need to come off, doesn't he? <sighs> Damn it. Right, I'm going to bring uh, Milichenko on. I still haven't looked up his name, to be honest, guys. Decor, I think Decor is going to have to just stay on, you know. Right, I think what I'm going to do is take Dwight McNeil off and put Beto on with Calvert Lewin. And we'll go to that. Pressing forward. I'll do the pressing forward on support because obviously he's got the uh, strike partner in um, in uh, Calvert Lewin still. Right, Ericsson with the corner here for Manchester United. I've really got to sort my corner tactics out because um, that I've conceded from that set piece a, a few times now. Now Manchester United have got another goal. <sighs> See, the thing is, the teams were playing, the bigger teams were playing against Harry. Oh, Dan Juma, please tell me that counts. It does. I thought Dan Juma was offside. Phew. Let's encourage. See if we can maybe push for a winner. Right, I'm going to bring Seamus Coleman on as well. I know star ratings and stuff, but whatever. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I was going to say, can we intercept that? And we can. Harrison, Gomez, Calvert-Lewin, Dan Juma. Now, come on. Dan Juma, lovely ball over the top, and it's intercepted. And Ganacho with the chance to counter-attack for Manchester United. Can we please win this ball back? Bruno Fernandes now. Ah, oh, Milichenko does really well to win the ball. Dan Juma, lovely ball into Decor, who is in space. Calvert-Lewin puts the ball over the top for Jack Harrison. Jack Harrison gets the ball in the box, and Beto has scored! Come on, baby! And we have completely turned it around against Manchester United. And it's 3-2. I told you the boys love a, love a game in front of the cameras. Come on. Now we're swapping back to balanced because we just want to sit back. I am fine with this. I think, I think we do deserve the win in all fairness. Um, at the same time, I would have... Oh, it's Calvin Lewin's coming off. You know what? That's probably not a bad thing. Oh, it, oh damn it. Of course, yeah. Okay. So we're going to be down to 10 men for the last few minutes here. I've added time. I think overall we do narrowly deserve the win. And you never know, we might extend it here. Seamus Coleman. You know, mate, waste your time, it's good. Get a yellow card if you want, I don't really care. Right, Harrison, Coleman. Can he get a ball in? Oh, it gives it to Harrison. It's Beto! Oh! Bruno Fernandez, lovely interception there by Tukowski. A lovely play by Harrison to Coleman. Beto, oh, Beto can't unfortunately capitalise on that. But uh, it's all good, it's all good. And Dalot goes back to Onana. What's his name? To Amrabat. Ericsson now. Can we please win this ball back? We've got a minute left of added time. Lindelof on the ball. Bruno Fernandez gets the ball out to Mason Mount. Ball into Amrabat. To lot now. To lot give Nacho and they've scored. I don't see why that's not going to count in all fairness, but it's not going to count. That's awesome. What? What? It said 3 2. Bastards. It literally said 3 2. So I was thinking, well, that's not going to count then, but it was given. Damn it. Oh, that is annoying. Again, so a late equaliser again. Oh, but you know what? I think we probably would have taken a point to begin with. It, it doesn't stop the rock kind of thing. But, you know, it's a game where you probably expect to lose. So, you know, Chelsea and Brighton there, I think they probably would. I mean... They, uh, oh, they both lost, so we've extended our uh, points tally over them. Brentford, however, they win their game in hand. They can go above us. It, no, they'll be on level points with us. They won't go above us. That would uh, be a bit silly. But, yeah, I mean, a little bit annoyed with that, really. But at the end of the day, it's a get... I mean, is he in... Oh, he's only out for a couple of days. It will still make his... Uh, 
Hey, there we go. We got another bit of money in the bank. Awesome stuff. Unbeaten run. Oh, they're so lucky to have that unbeaten run still, though, aren't they? Well, there you go. Gavi Goal's coming in. Calvert-Lewin is going out. Please let me know in the comments what you think of that deal. You know, we've made a... You know, we've signed Gavi Gold for 4.5 million. Yes, 10 million on instalments. But we're getting 31 million pounds in the transfer kitty for Calvert Lewin. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. Please do. Please do indeed. I mean, Calvert Lewin is um, is injury prone. So um, what do you, what do you expect? He's injury prone. So I had to. I've I've had to sell him. You know, I mean, they're saying all of these players are not good enough. You know, Adrissa Gay, he's got no interest in signing a new contract anyway. Decor, Ashley Young, Gomez, Coleman, Deli Ali, others, they're just not good enough. And I think it's a really good really good idea for me to just bin them all off pretty much. Because, yeah, it's going to save us a lot of money and wages. You know, we're going to be binning off 10, 10 players, maybe a little bit more, including the loans. So, um, oh, Antonio Conte has gone to Newcastle interesting i think what we'll do um towards the end of the season or maybe in the transfer special uh we'll probably just go through all the clubs and um and uh, see who's gone where because there's been a few managerial seconds <clears throat> cash to burn there you go planning ahead you signed a player you added to your squad plan did i i had no idea at this point with the what Really? No, of course. He, I mean, yes, on star rating wise, Gavi Gold might not be, might not be, um, could be a fair replacement for Dominic Calvert Lewin. A fan reaction F. Well, f whatever. He's injury prone. So, what do you expect me to do? You know, we've got money to spend now. We've got, have we got 46 million? How have we got 46 million? That's interesting. Because I was at 38. And I know we got that money for the um, Lucas Digny. But where's an extra 8 million come from? I mean, I'm not going to complain one bit. Now, I know, uh, I, know we've, I think we've been paying this off. I'm think I'm thinking we have been paying this off. So um yeah. I need to be I mean, do I need to be smarter with the transfers? I don't know. We are going to have to look for some bargains of course. But um but yeah. So I mean, there's a few players on here that I probably would be interested in. But you know, we just got to be sensible with these, I think. Smith Ro Emil Smith Rowe. Should we go down the attacking midfielder route? <laughs> Thing is, Nicolas Pepe probably. I mean, this is a player that I probably would be interested in. Because, yeah, he had a failed move to Arsenal, of course. But. I think he'd probably suit our style quite well. <laughs> Hang on a minute, his contract expires. His contract expires soon. Okay, so this might mean we might be able to get him for a cut price. So if I offer, say, eight up front, and then say ten on instalments, they'll accept that. Cool. So let's see if we can get him in, um, because I do need another winger, because literally these two are my only wingers. So thinking the sign of Pepe will be a good one, and uh, yeah, so uh, we'll be right back for the Sheffield United game, and hopefully um, Nicolas Pepe on the way in. That'd be cracking. Okay, so I have offered a contract to Nicolas Pepe. Um, looks promising, £85,000 a week. A little bit of appearance money as well. Uh, but I think this will be a good signing. So uh, we definitely need another winger. He can play on either side. And so I think, um, you know, even if he even if he doesn't last that long, um, he does have a uh, minimum release clause as well, which is uh, about double what we're paying for him, maybe a little bit more. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think that's a really good, really good signing. You know, definitely... Uh, 
direction we're going in. Now I have hit quick big and Gavi Gold does get in over Beto. So uh, let's see what happens here against Sheffield United. So I'm going to go positive because Sheffield United are rock bottom and I'm hoping, excuse me, we can um, get score some goals. So uh, yeah, I've already introduced the team this episode, so I'm not going to do it again. Gavi Goal can have the number nine because it's available. Pretty sure Calvert-Lewin had number nine, didn't he? Okay, come on then. Oh wow, they are in poor form, aren't they? And Everton roll in and uh, they're probably going to beat us. <laughs> no, no, like, I mean, they did come to us and get a point, so we do owe them, really. But you know, I think we're um, certainly we're li we're a different team since then. Obviously, the the sale of Calvert Lewin initially probably will hurt, uh, but um, Van der Beek with a free kick there. Go, Joe Garner cannot win that header, but Harrison does get the ball to Garner, and it's just wide. Very good effort there by Garner. Let's see if uh, Gabby Gold can get a goal. That would be good. I've heard good things about him. I've never managed him on the Football Manager before. So, um, let's hope it turns into a, uh, a good one. Right, Tukowski now. And a bake. I mean, I don't even know what the hell that was. Where he gives it to Cameron Archer. Archer gets the ball in, Milichenko gets the ball to Branthwaite. Branthwaite to McNeil. Ball goes into Van der Beek. Van der Beek, really nice play. Keeps hold of the ball. Goes to Seamus Coleman on the wing. Cuts inside. And very poor effort on goal in the end, it has to be said. Sort of built us up and built us up and built us up and then just flopped pretty much. Uh, but we are approaching half-time. We have by far been the better team. But it's just um, scoring a goal. It's just something we haven't managed to do yet. So uh, I'm just going to say I don't know what I've seen. Because we've not scored a goal. Yes, we've had shots on goal. Yes, we've had a few shots on target. But it is not good enough against a team rock bottom of the league. We need to be doing better than this. Van der Beek tries to get the ball in. It's headed away. McNeil gets the ball to Joe Garner. Back to Milichenko. Across and it's cleared. Garner with the header and it's intercepted by my boy Gustavo Hamer. Onana gives the ball to Harrison. Back to Tukowski now. Lovely ball. Harrison. 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 Oh, and he scores. I thought he was going to square it to Gabby, but he didn't. Jack Harrison has scored himself. And thankfully, we have finally taken the lead here against Sheffield United. And deservedly so as well. And with this, I believe we will go above Fulham. But the uh, it's just not updated yet. So McAtee with a free kick for Sheffield United. is partially cleared to Traore. Oh, and it hits the post. And bounces clear. And it's a throw in for Everton. Right, let's get a substitute or two on. We'll bring Dan Juma on. We'll bring Michael Keane on. We'll bring Patterson on as well. And not bring in Ali on. I don't really want to bring Beto on for Gavi. Bring Andre Gomez on for Ghana. Actually, no, I won't do that. Confirm. That's been a bit disappointing debut here from Gavi. Thinking Tukowski for Godfrey. I'm fine with that. Um, we'll bring Beto on now, I think. Give him a, give him a few minutes. <coughs> See if he can score. But overall, I mean, we have deserved the win. It's just it would have been nice to win by... I've not jinxed it, have I? Please, Pickford, don't hit it against the Sheffield United player. Oh, well done. Dan Juma. Oh, it's just white. <coughs> Alright, Fotheringham with the goal kick. Please intercept. It's Norwood for Sheffield United. And 
Lichenko gives the ball clear to Garner now. Potential counter-attack on the cards. Danjuma, Harrison. Horrible ball there to Beto. Norrington Davis gets it back to Trusty. Is he a trusty defender? Who knows? Right, Milichenko with the interception. Dan Juma with a lovely touch there. Dan Juma gives a ball to Van der Beek, who's in. Harrison in space. And Harrison seals the deal, or does he? He does. Good man. <coughs> Harrison has sealed the deal. It's 2-0. It's game over. And, I mean, we do deserve the win. Massive. I mean, I, I mean, I was hoping we just could have scored more goals there, but you know, it was all right. You know, the fact that we've just sold Calvert Lewin, our top goal scorer. Yeah, I mean, I know you guys will probably disagree, but Calvert Lewin obviously injury prone. We got a lot of money in for him. He was out of contract next summer, and we signed a good replacement for a lot less money. So I think overall it will turn out to be a positive. Uh, the fact that we've got £46 million to spend, I think, is is really good. Obviously, some of that will be coming out because of the um, Nicolas Pepe deal. But, um, but yeah, now, uh, in terms of the next video... Uh, oh, OK. So, um... Hmm, <clears throat> OK. So, I'm thinking we maybe just do deadline day and Arsenal because I'm anticipating that we'll, there will be some money left to spend at the end of this window because I can't see me spending it all um, yet but there we go so we've got Swansea in a few days in the FA Cup hopefully we do progress in that and then a game at home to Brentford um, so hopefully two wins there and then a game against Chelsea which we'll probably lose but then again we beat Liverpool last episode and we pushed Man United in this one so yeah so at the end of this video we do sit in 7th place 21 games played 31 points on the board I think we're looking good for a mid-table finish at the very least um, some poor form could see us drop down a few places but overall I think we will will be fine as things stand we are 18 points clear of relegation so i think we can tick that box off the list certainly um quite a few games left to go so um there we go so thinking deadline day and arsenal for the next video hopefully uh, you're looking forward to that i know i certainly am i'm looking forward to splashing some money i know the finances uh, the overall balance is not now not looking good because if we have a look over the course of the season when we first come in, we had a hundred million pounds in the bank. Um, I'm thinking it will be because of the outstanding debts and stuff. So, um, so we are paying four million pounds a month out because of these debts. And uh, yeah, I uh, don't see that getting any better soon because I've got nearly fifty million pounds to spend, and I really do intend to spend it. Um, I will probably be stretching it over a few players. You know what I'm doing with Nicolas Pepe. Obviously, this is the beta save, so I can afford to uh, splash the cash a little bit. So, I uh, guess we'll see. But in terms of the wages as well, um, again, I'm really looking forward to the summer because, you know, we've got players like Seamus Coleman. Van der Beek's obviously going to be going back. I mean, I may even try and sign him permanently because he has been a real breath of fresh air in this team. Uh, yeah, other players, you know, it basically... Deadwood, almost, you could say. Like, Andre Gomez and Deli Alley. You know, those players between them, £220,000 a week. If I had that kind of wage budget available, I could stretch that over three or four players, certainly. And probably players that are better than these two. So, there we go. So, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to do a lot of scouting. I'm going to do some bids. And hopefully... You will see uh, a few fresh players in the next video where we play, where we do deadline day, and of course Arsenal. So thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, please drop a like to show your support, and uh, please do subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you back here tomorrow, 5 p.m. Uh, usual time here on a weekday. I'm recording this Saturday morning. I'm in. I am anticipating. I'm going to be recording a lot of these today because I am super looking forward to this, and I hope you guys are as well. Toodle pip.